2050, I envision Indonesia as a country that is advanced and also modern in technology, while also being able to maintain the natural resources and the diversity of our nation, ensuring our future generation a sustainable living environment. And in approximately 30 years from now, environmental defenders become the people who lead the country. They take up the positions of decision maker and also become the heart of the process of policy making that affect people's lives and also their own lives. For so long, people in Indonesia have been exploiting and also irresponsibly taking advantage of the environment and the resources that we have to the extent that defending the right to a healthy environment is deemed controversial. But I think it's not, and it should not be controversial, because we owe a lot to our environment. And for human rights defenders in general, uh, who are defending the rights to a healthy environment, they are often seen as the opposition, because they are deemed not supportive of the development of the investment that might be able to improve the, the well-being of the people in the country. But the fact is that maybe some people in certain areas, they do not need big hotels. They do not need a huge stadium. They just need the nature to sustainably live and also survive. In 2050 in particular, I also would like to see that um, defenders are able to exercise their freedom, especially in regards to the civil and political rights, because at the moment, we, we fear of being silenced if we exercise those freedom. And finally, I would like to see that the attention of saving and protecting the environment, as well as protecting the people who fight for environment, are heightened, especially within the younger generation.